to my channel. We will continue with projection of a point onto a plane. If you have a plane P Q, then the projection of a point B onto this part of the plane A is given by should we derive the formula or actually write formula? This is theta. The projection of this point onto this, which we write as projection of B onto A, is equal to A plus B over A plus A plus A. For example, if we have B to be equal to 2i plus 5j plus k and a to be equal to i plus j plus k then the projection of b onto a is given by the projection of b onto a which is equal to what is a dot b so we we'll say this times this two. So this times the coefficient of this one. One times the coefficient of this. So we have two plus five plus one all over a dot a is one plus one plus one. Dot i plus j plus k is equal to eight over three i plus j So what does this mean? It means that the projection of a point onto a plane is a vector. So let's quickly give this a try. I'm going to try to get the projection of the point P onto Q. And here we're going to get the projection of the point R onto S. Please pause the video and try it yourself. Yeah? Uh, but there's no problem with that. You don't have A and B here anymore. So this I'll have a projection of B onto A to be equal to um, A B A dot B over A dot A dot A. We are going to now have projection of P on Q is P dot Q over Q dot Q. If you want, P dot Q is equal to Q dot P. It's the same thing, but if you want to be careful, you can do dot Q. And for the second one, you have projection of R on S is equal to S dot R over S dot S. Of that, at this point, we have K, J. So you have to rearrange them yourself, okay? Don't make the mistake of taking that K position at the J position. Try it yourself, and that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye. Please subscribe to my channel. <laughs>